Welcome back to another episode of ISO. Did you enjoy that little intro I made? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of ISO. Welcome to the channel, welcome. Uh, we are here to talk about uh, personal finance and the practical knowledge I can share with you guys to uh, keep more of your hard earned money, uh, work a little less, enjoy life a little bit more. So today, we're going to talk about how the SEC just charged a uh, fine uh, Robinhood, the uh, trading uh, app, for $65 million for their business practice. So let's get to it. I assume everybody knows what Robinhood is. If you don't, it's a trading app uh, for, for stocks. And um, the cash uh, phrase for them is commission free on all your trades. So why would the SEC charge them or fine them $65 million for the business practice? Uh, let's talk about it. 2020 has been a big boost uh, for this uh, trading platform and with everybody stuck at home, especially millennial who is more familiar with the apps, phone, the idea of stocks, and they always uh, try to do things themselves especially to save a little money and uh, uh, trading stock is one of them where you can just do it so easily with your thumb on your phone. Um, so uh, they've, they've been adding for the good, uh, for the majority of 2020, uh, a couple million. So they, they are surpassing about 13 million users right now. And uh, in, in this year alone, they raised another two, two, uh, two billion dollars. So put their company uh, value uh, above 11 billions right now. Uh, in 2021, uh, I think they're on track to uh, to be uh, to get their their first IPO um, ready in 2021. Hope that the SAC is looking for out for the little guys like us, right? Or just looking for fines for themselves. But anyway, so they're finding saying two things: one is Robinhood is not clear on the way they make money; two, they advertise uh, that they're matching the value with other trading platform. Uh, but but they're not. Uh, in reality, actually, uh, far inferior. That's what uh, the word in the finding is. So, majority of their uh, money making thing is from di uh, diverting your traffic, your orders to other uh, trading firms, and uh, they get. Uh, um, I think this called um, payment for order flow. That's how they call it. So they just direct your order to order trading platform. Now, they're not talking about uh, the penny trader, uh, you know, dollar, a couple thousand here and there. No, they talk about option trading because that's, that's a lot of money there. So, uh, you know, I'm like an automated video about uh, what you should know before you get into uh, option trading or just trading period. Uh, but anyway, so by directing traffic to those uh, uh, automatic or trading firms, uh, they get a lot, a lot of kickback from from it, and that's how they make the majority of their money. But they're not clear. Um, oh, uh, and uh, Robinhood never confirmed or denied; they just paid the fine. But sixty-five million dollars. Uh, if you look into it, they make a hundred and twenty millions on the second second quarter of twenty twenty alone. So in the long run, it's actually just pocket change, really. Uh, probably just to um, you know to keep the SEC from. Uh, making a big deal out of it. Uh, maybe they they already changed their uh, their um, their practice uh, by now. But that was a finding from the last two three years on this uh, platform. Uh, I don't I don't personally I don't personally use it because uh, you know it freezes when when the market is on a high and this it is unreliable to me. And I, I didn't like the um, the not the, the the clarity of how they how they um, how they make money from the beginning. And uh, I was right to, uh, to to question that, and that that is exactly how they make money. And uh, does that change anything for you? Not really. Yeah, they're, they're trading the commission uh, free trading is great for little guys to trade little things. But remember, in the financial world, everybody make money. Got to everybody got to make money uh, somehow. So if you go to your financial advisor. Uh, to play with your money, remember the financial advisor person, uh, they get paid no matter what. They do bad, do 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 well, they get paid no matter what. And they gotta pay some other guy to make that trade for you. So somebody makes money somehow, somewhere. Um, so, but this is just uh, just something they have to go through with the SEC. Um, and uh, the, the fighting may, uh, may discourage you from using it or whatnot, but there's a lot of platform out there right now. Um, 
I, I use Webull and um, I'll leave the link below. If you sign up with Webull, they give you uh, six free stocks uh, to trade. Um, if you put in a hundred bucks, I think deposit. So hundred bucks, um, six free stock right there to start. So that's pretty good. So that's how I started. Um, and I, I'll make another video, video to talk about how I bought my first stock at 38 cents and uh, because I read some news and within two weeks it's jumped up to seven dollars 38 cents seven dollars huge difference and um, that's when I realized um, I, I, I cannot rely on just begin the luck you really have to learn the market know the game uh, and then you know go in it for a long the long run and uh, you gotta need Make it clear what your short-term goal is, what your long-term goal is, what you want to get out of it. And remember, Uncle Sam, he's always there to pick your pocket at the end of the year. So, and in this short gain, you better have a, a plan how to, uh, how to pay Uncle Sam at the end or how to diverse it or a uh, different tax plan, talk to your CPA and whatnot. So, but anyway, so this is just a quick recap on um, the news I saw today, how... Um, the uh, Robin Hood app got, uh, got fined for $65 million. But uh, hey, that's just how uh, the, this, this world is rolling. So happy trading, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Please give me a like so that it can, all the people can see this video and subscribe to the channel to see more uh, practical knowledge coming up. Peace out.